Coming up in today's episode, me and Matt go on a quiet, relaxing holiday. <laughs> My cups! And our budget camper feels the wrath of the British weather. Honestly, this is not a good idea. All that and much more coming up on today's episode of the Epic Car Show. <laughs> I can't do it! In a recent study carried out, we discovered that 65% of the UK's holiday goers decided to stay right here in Great Britain for their holidays. And I think that's just utter madness. Why? Britain's a lovely place to go on holiday. Come on, Matt, think about it. Be realistic here. It's cold, it's wet, it's miserable, it's expensive. The beaches are basically just rocks. And for some reason, the hotels are always fully booked. No way. I love British holidays. Surely you've had one which wasn't in a hotel. No, I haven't actually. Not even a camping holiday? Out there in that freezing cold, you must be joking. Surely a caravan holiday. Who doesn't love sleeping in a little box next to your own turds? In fact, I've got an old VW out there just not doing anything. How about I try and turn it into a lot luxury camper van, we can drive around wherever we want and hope for the best. If we get bored, we want to move on, just drive somewhere else. There's no way that you could turn that old gardening van into a luxury camper. Come on, seven days, I reckon I could do it. I bet you 500 quid you could not do that. But I tell you what, I'm feeling very confident. I do want to make this bet with you because I believe if you can turn that into a luxury hotel, a luxury moving camper, and you can deliver on the proper British holiday experience that's supposed to be wonderful, which we all know it isn't, then I will let you keep that 500 pounds. However, there is a slight plot twist and I think they're gonna love this one. If it turns out that the camper van is utter rubbish and the whole British holiday experience is rubbish, which it will be, then you can give me back that 500 pounds plus 500 pounds interest. You know what, I do like a challenge. Go on then, let's give it a go. Come on, let's do it. We begin our journey on a miserable Monday where I was getting my bags packed for what Matt said will be a proper outdoorsy adventure. So I'm just waiting for Matt to get here. He said he'd be here in a minute, thank goodness. But I've just looked outside and it started raining and apparently by later on it's gonna be absolutely hammering it down. I'm not really looking forward to camping. I know I've never been before, but still, if it's gonna be wet and miserable and cold, it's just gonna be a nightmare. It's stressing me out already just thinking about it. Still, he says his van is something special, so I can't wait to see what it looks like. Soon enough, Matt arrived. Hello mate. All right, how's it going? Yeah, not bad, not bad. I've been busy. You know you gave me a week. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't have enough time to do everything, but don't panic, I've done enough. It so doesn't look any different on the outside. It's not supposed to. Everything's the same on the outside, except, are you missing something? What's that? These are recycled gravel boards, which uh, were free. But what's that in the middle? These are solar panels. Get out of here. Yeah. It's fully solar, it's off grid, and it's powering a lot of interesting things. Yeah, but you say that solar, you show me where the sun is, it's just cloudy. I is didn't... this even going to work? Or is this just some sort of Believe joke? it or not, even with a cloud like this, it's been enough to keep us going. So I've tried it, I haven't slept in it, but I've tried it, and it seems to work. So fingers crossed, we'll be okay. I'm not convinced it's going to pass an MOT. We have just wires hanging off everywhere, but. Nah, that's all right. My <laughs> uncle does MOTs. <laughs> that's fine then. Are Come you ready? Let's go have a I'm look. quite excited to show you this because it's it's this is this has been busy. I've been busy. I've been busy. Right, the outside looks the same, but inside. Much to my amazement, Matt had actually turned the old van into a mobile charity shop. Still, the crisps were a nice touch. Blimey, neck, Matt. You do this on your own in a week? All by myself, mate. No help at all. Believe it or not, I'm quite surprised as well, to be Fair honest. Fair play. It's all right, isn't it? You've done the headlining. Yeah, all the headlining's come off and been completely done. Yeah. Gone for a bit of a nautical of thing course, here, have you? Of course, of course. It's got to be done. It's not genuine wood, is it? This is... It's, it's genuine... What is it? It's just paper. <laughs> it's is genuine, it wrapping paper? It's genuine wallpaper, yeah. Wallpaper? Yeah, yeah. in the sail bin. You know that's going to peel off when it gets cold and wet. On no, days like today. Nothing like that. We're in, we're in England. It's fine. <laughs> when is it ever wet? The curtains are a lovely touch. The, it, well, they're needed, to be honest, because it might get a bit cold. They're supposed to be thermal. They were free off a of mate, so... you kidding. You actually did this whole thing on your Genuine, own. Genuine, all by myself, yeah. <laughs> You've got a speaker here. Does the speaker work? It all works. We've got, we're going to be camping in style. I've noticed the lights. I had one request. I said I really wanted those fancy lights, like you get in all the posh restaurants. You have like got KFC. the fanciest lights. These are full KFC spec, oh. almost McDonald's spec. 
I don't know where to start. I mean, you've got a TV here that, I mean, this works as well. All works. This is all an works. actual TV. You said you wanted Proper. a TV. I've gone one further. That's a smart TV right there. We're not mucking about anymore. You have got a fridge freezer in there. Well, so we can store ice creams in this lovely weather. It's, that's all you need. That's all you need. Just loads of ice cream. It's going to be nice and warm. My We're going to have word. a great time. What's in here then, Matt? You've got everything you ever need. A nice little dot, some emergency lighting. You said you wanted fancy lights. We're getting nothing but the best. <laughs> Just in case there's an emergency. There's probably going to be a blackout, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, they work as they well. They work, yeah, we're not messing about. So I had some requests. I wanted a TV, I wanted a bed, and some cooking facilities. All I can see right now is a TV. You're in for such a treat. I worked hard, and this is why it's taken so long. So you wanted a bed. Not only, you'll notice, is there a massive sofa. I wasn't working with a pop top, but I've got all the room you need in here. What I'll do first, your fancy lights, are you ready? Well, let's see your fancy lights then, Matt, come on. Uh, yeah, give me a minute. Small technical difficulties. You Can't you just press a button? No, you see, it was 500 quid, not 500,000. There's a <laughs> catastrophic problem has occurred. I can't find the hole, it's somewhere in here. It's not looking good, is it, Matt? This isn't a good start. Like, yeah, this might... <laughs> <laughs> this might be a problem. <laughs> How much do we need electrics in here? Well, I'm not going camping if we don't have YouTube or Amazon Prime or something like that. These we are... need, we need what? Oh, tell me the TV works. Don't tell me that's another fake. These prop. are serious first world problems you've got. Oh, hang on, there was life for a second. You said on the phone you had fancy lighting. Ah, yeah. Um, it's very seasonal lighting, as it turns out. I think when the sun's out, they work. Is it time to give me my 500 quid back? We're just beginning. With the 500 pound interest. Let me fire up the TV, everything will be fine. You can have the YouTube. You won't be able to see tonight though, but the fridge works. Yes, but the lights are everything. I wanted it to look like one of Randy's restaurants. I've got a backup, it's fine. I've got batteries. No. There you go, look there. Look how bright then. those are. You could see everything with those, including my mistakes. Oh no. That'll be what's gone. Die. They've all died. I've killed them. That's the problem. Well, how did that happen? I'm, oh no, it's my horrible driving, Dave. It's these back roads, it's these lovely British back roads. You're gonna love your British holiday. I wanted fancy lighting. I got nothing but disappointment. It's the <laughs> story of my life. Yeah. Give it a sec, give it a sec. Hey! Are they working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're nice and cozy now. So when it gets dark, as long as you can stand I'll there like that. I'll just stand here, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. no, yeah. I'll be happy. It's, right. it's not gonna rain, it's fine. The TV's not working as well. It's gonna be a rough night, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm no technical expert, but Wait. I always thought Hitachi, or is that Hitachi? It was Hitachi. Yeah, it's... I always thought they were probably one of the best brands, better than Sony. Did you? That's yeah. why their logo's rubbed off and the TV isn't working, is it? That's... Oh, look, look, look. Hey. oh, there's life! Wait, wait. There's life! Just got to get the TV warmed up. You know it's not a fireplace, Matt. It's a fire TV. <laughs> it's a fire TV. TV. Not a lot of it. Oh, yes! Amazon. Hey! What's that bleeping? It's the fridge. The fridge says it's currently 16 degrees, but outside it's about 11 degrees. It's about so the, minus 20, the actually. Fridge, it's the, freezing out here. The fridge has made it warmer than it actually is outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> The biggest current problem is I can't find the hole. Oh, there you go. Uh, oh dear. So show me this sofa. All right, anyway. let's give it a go. It, it works better in my head, but we can we can make this happen. So I take it this is where I'll be sleeping, and you'll be sleeping on that chair over there. It's a double bed. That's all I'm gonna say. I think the guests should have this, <laughs> and as you're like the captain or the driver, your seat should your bed should be at the front. Um, yeah, we might have to work on that. <laughs> what we're gonna try and do. Let's tuck this in like this. Let me remind you, £25 on Facebook Marketplace, this. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can't see why, can you? But with a spare half an hour and a lot of willpower, it might work. Is that as flat as it goes? We're working on that. It does go completely flat, I promise. So it's a recliner? It is a recliner. I think they've, you've been tucked up, Matt. I think they're just going to chuck this in the bin. Look at this. <laughs> I bet there's some nasty stains. No, part. don't. Oh, yeah. I was rather hoping you oh, wouldn't see that. Oh, sweat stains? Yeah, there's a cigarette, there's a oh. cigarette butt on there as well. It's not good. So you've got the bed. You've got the TV. I want your cooking facilities. You're in for a treat here. Right, OK. I'll show you how it goes. Like everything in this van, it seems to get bigger everything expands it makes everything a lot easier so i'm not going to set up for you now because i'm going to show you everything when we get to the campsite but until then look at that oh you got you got, got pots and pans and everything yeah Are these yeah clean? 
Matt then went on to show me his secret weapon. You've got a shower? Yeah, I've got a shower. Okay, when you said luxury, this doesn't fall under luxury, okay? I'm not proud of this, but, but, it's a shower in a bag. With the tour over, it was time to get some supplies. I don't want anyone nicking my stuff. Can you put this on just so people don't break into the van because my camera's in there? Once we have stocked up on garbage, we could then get on with our camping adventure, provided Matt didn't kill us first. That's, that's a skip. That's definitely a skip. Okay. The sports direct mug is hanging in there. You can't... No! 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 My cups! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, we got umbrellas. <laughs> There's a pub there, we could have gone in there for some food. Look, you're going to get the best food you've ever had. Just wait to get to the campsite. I mean, I haven't actually got a frying pan, I'm just going to do it all in a sauce. Yes, but have you washed your hands? I'd rather, I'd rather have dinner before you go to the toilet. To be fair... We haven't I'm... even got a tap. Well, I know we've got that shower in a bag, but that's going to be no good. What I'll do is I'll just put the windows down now and just hang my hands out. Be, and you've got a dirty steering wheel. I'm, I'm a proper germaphobe. Oh. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. <laughs> I haven't seen one other caravaner going on holiday. Do you know why? Because they've all gone back home. Eventually, we made it to the campsite. Well, I say campsite, it was actually a car park. And when we got there, we were expecting it to be completely empty, bearing in mind it was hammering it down. But... I'm not happy, Matt. I just want to get settled. I've got my blankets here. Don't know where I'm going to put them because I still haven't found out where my bed actually is yet. And the burgers are going to defrost any minute. Mind you, why would they? It's freezing cold. Oh, give off. Where do these go? Which cupboard can I put these in? Should I put them in with the swimming stuff or what? You said camping was going to be good. This sucks. I want to go outside, get some fresh air, but it's peeing down with rain. And there's nothing in the bloody fridge. All this camping malarkey. What other snacks have you got? I'm starving. Right, we've got a full range of things to keep you ready for your adventures, such as ice rings and cheese puffs. <laughs> Some raw pasta. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, I could warm you up with a hot chocolate, but we haven't got any milk. What, is that one that's just add water? Um, no, it's add milk. This is miserable. Right, come on then, let's get under here. This is gonna, oh, it's chucking it down. Can we not like put some sort of curtain up? Cause I don't really like the neighbors. Oh, we can't afford the curtain. Mate, we oh can't have God, a barbecue this is so here. Bad. This is so bad. At least it's nice and quiet here anyway. Oh, it's a lovely spot. I'm so glad we chose it. That's a bit low. It's a nice table. Was that in budget? It was, it was only 20 quid in the sale. It's a quality item. You're enjoying this, aren't you, Matt? Oh, I'm having a really good time, I can't lie. Outside dining, darling. <laughs> Tesco special. You could be in Spain right now. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> so this video is the sentence of Matt. What was it you get from uh, camping? Was it a sense of freedom that you don't get with other holidays? <laughs> He's having a better time than me. Matt, what have you been up to? Oh, you're right, I was fit for a wee mate. Why have you got toilet paper? Well, I feel a bit lighter now, I can't lie. Right, I'm quite hungry now. Should we get some dinner on? Matt's just fannying about in the boot here. I don't know what he's playing at. He just thinks it's just one big adventure. Um... I think somewhere in here, there you go. Just want to go home. Matt, is this legal? We're uh, not really at a proper campsite, are we? Oh yeah. <laughs> Ignore this, everything's fine. There you go. 
I'm so happy with this. Fire. Right, that's on, which is good. I've got some bad news though. Um, I forgot the frying pan, so we're just going to put the burgers in this. Welcome to a brand new episode of Cooking and Camping with Dave and Matt. As you can see, we're in the lovely British countryside. <laughs> I'm really trying to get into the moment here, you know, I'm really trying to get into you're doing camping. You're your best. It's looking fantastic. How about, you know those are nice, fancy restaurants, Gordon Ramsay, the other famous ones. You always sit down and you think, what's going to have? Ribs. Fantastic, aren't they? Lovely, <laughs> gorgeous ribs. Well, Sticky ribs at best. Yeah, I love sticky ribs. Do you? Sticky ribs. Come on! <laughs> the stickiest of all the ribs. Fight the flame's gone out. Hang on, give me a minute. Join us after the break as we try to. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, closes that way. What do you mean we've had the gas on the whole time in the van? Might have done. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. What do you mean we're good? There's no flame. Well, that, that's a good thing. It means all the gas hasn't gone everywhere. Step one, my little camping chefs, you get your sauce, but we don't have any oil or really anything, so we're just gonna burn them in their own, cook them in our own fat, which will be lovely. First of all, put them straight back down again <laughs> and get the gas going. Now that you've uh, washed your hands, <clears throat> you get your lovely burgers. Okay. Don't touch the burgers, Matt. No, I don't I'm know. not going to touch the burgers. Just, just throw them in. No, we've got the we've got the giant thing for that, haven't we? The, the big tweezers. That's not. You the mean tongs? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is not the right tool for this, but it's the only tool we have. Why don't you just chuck it in, Matt? Just chuck the burgers in. Because I need to separate them. Straight in your saucepan. Oh. This is going to be great. Sizzling. Oh, I'm that really is excited. Absolutely beautiful. Do you want to lick it? Oh, I feel bad oh, for that guy oh. in the lorry. I think we should give him a burger. I think that'd be quite nice, actually. You've got four here, so if he's still hanging around at the I end. He'll probably have food poisoning by the end of oh, the video. That's true. Can we get sued for this? No, we're not insured. As you can see, it's coming on an absolute treat at the moment. The, all the fat and the juices really bring it in to get that lovely Ramsey taste. Yeah, gas is still on. Lovely. We're not on fire yet. There's a lot of rain happening. Quite bad, isn't it? I will offer them burgers. <laughs> Whether or not they're going to be edible is a totally different story. It's always important when you're doing these to find the loveliest location possible. Today we've got, <laughs> well, a building site effectively. A minute. Well, have, we, have we got a knife? Yeah, we've got a plastic knife. Where's that gone? <laughs> Where have they gone? I put them down for two seconds and it's just gone into a different postcode. There's a puddle in that seat. <laughs> oh, this is just a bloody nightmare. Ah, oh, good news. <laughs> You can have the blue knife to match your blue things. Now she's sizzling away. We're gonna go for a quick flip, which is quite hard when you've only got dogs. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, lovely. I don't think I'm gonna be sitting on them chairs either, Matt. What's wrong with that, mate? It will cool you down. <laughs> it's such a hot day, you need to cool them down. Mate, he's just on the red line on that thing. Look how much fat's in these burgers. Look, at they're swimming. I'm actually crying for the first time, but it's actually tears of joy because I'm just laughing my head off so there much. There you go, that's a camping <laughs> spirit, you see. Or is this the rain coming down and making you feel wet? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it got so kind of a soggy, wet bun. <laughs> you need to cut it for it to see the grace. Go on, give it a nice cut there. My glamorous, hey! <laughs> we have picked the most quiet spot ever on planet Earth. <laughs> Nobody ever goes here in a million years. The one time we turn up and there's, <laughs> there's a lorry, a dig. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. That was what I was missing, Dave. We need to get the holiday spirit. Bit of this, bit of that, you know how it is. I'm Gordon Ramsay, and welcome to the bush. Today, f off. <laughs> scholar. Today, f There you go. And uh, finally, I mean, they're a bit done. But we'd rather that than just right. yeah. yeah. Well done, man. Look at that. See, I, you're starting to enjoy this. I can tell. I'd love some sauce, please. These look rather fetching. Matt, you've done a good job. Thank you. You haven't tried it yet. Here you go. The moment of truth. That is good. I'm having a genuinely good time here. I'm soaking wet, but I just don't care. And that is the British spirit. So wet. After our non-vegan cheeseburger, I offered to do the washing up whilst Matt prepared me for the next activity. <laughs> but the British weather had other plans. How is there this much rain in the world? Oh my God! Dave! Dave! Oh my God, 
it's so bad. Dave, are you actually gonna do anything bad? I'm soaking wet. It's a bit disrespectful of those people to be working whilst we're having our holiday. I know. And then we're trying to enjoy ourselves, get some peace and quiet, and it's like, they're just working away. They're it's just horrible, upsetting man. us now. I know, it's, it's, ru it's ruined outrage, the whole trip. To be honest. Yeah, it's only them. I mean, everything else has been perfect, to be honest. Yeah. I love the swimming pool feature we're starting to get. Oh, that's going down my neck. Oh. <laughs> I am, look at the state. How can you're dry? It was the a state wet of me. <laughs> You are absolutely I'm... soaked, completely soaked. Do you know why? Because there was you with your sunglasses and your little Hawaii thing around your neck, having a good time cooking under here yeah. like Ainsley Harriet. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And there's me out there being the cameraman. Go on, yeah, cooking your dinner. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, thank you. In the camper van that I built. I could kill for a cup of tea right now. Yeah, a cup of uh, hot water we've got. Nothing else, <laughs> literally nothing else. Sorry, mate. <laughs> The amount of water on here is just absolutely ridiculous. Even I can't lie, this is quite bad. <laughs> you know, when I was testing this, we had signal. Yeah. We don't up here. We don't have like, any signal. No signal. Well, you can watch a home screen of the Amazon TV stick. You mean we can't watch anything? I don't know where to begin, but this is exactly how I thought it would go. I think you've had a great time, to be honest. I don't know what you're complaining is about. My sleeves are soaking wet. I hate that feeling. Have you not got heaters apart from that gas thing with the gas stove? No, no heaters, no heaters. This you look is really, really comfortable. This is really good fun. Are you enjoying your headroom? Not really. Ah. I'm freezing cold. With the TV ruined, we prepared for what would be the worst night's sleep ever. Done. Right, so this is, this is my bed then, is it? So you're no, sitting no, in the no, front. No, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. This is the bed that I built. Yeah, well, so. I'm the guest. I thought we established that. But I built this bed. This is my bed in my van. Surely I get to get, the one that drove us here cooking this food. This is my bed, yeah. But you always make your guests feel welcome. Well, you can be really welcome in the front seat. So, Matt, what's been your highlight? <laughs> uh, getting a couple of free showers today. That was quite nice, quite generous. Uh, the burger was good. Yeah, the I, burger was good, yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed the drive. That was quite nice. I like the burger the best. The mm. fact that we had two bits of cheese in, in there is just, <laughs> just unbelievable. And we didn't even have to do a lot of washing up. We just stuck the plates out. That was an easy thing. Yeah, 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 this is true. No, that was nice. But that was the positive stuff. Yeah. Let's talk about the negative things. Uh, I'll be honest, there are a few. Um, the rain hasn't helped a lot. There's been so much, it's been torrential. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm damp, I'm not too bad because I've been underneath a tailgate most of the time. You got soaked though, didn't you? I'm not even gonna lie, was, that was horrendous. That was the wettest I've got ever. Yeah. Uh, there's been no signal, so we haven't had the TV or any YouTube or anything like that. that. Do you know what, that has peed me off because I'm camping, I was mm. like, okay, have some of my YouTube videos on, but no, we've not, you know, nothing. Hopefully, tomorrow, um, after you've had some sort of sleep in whatever layout this is, um, we can go for like a nice walk maybe, a bit, a bit refreshing. You a know? nice war morning's walk, yeah. that's it. Walk off the burger. Yeah, I think that's a good way to go. Hopefully it's not going to be raining. Um, there's a lovely viewpoint at the top of this hill, yeah. which we're parked at. So we can go and check that out, which would be quite nice. And uh, maybe I can claw back some redemption on this Hammer Holland's holiday. Hopefully we're a bit better today. Oh, it's a bit foggy, isn't it? God, blimey. I'll tell you what, it's not looking great. I can't lie. Let's have a look. Oh, God. Oh, good, it's raining. What a lovely start to the day. On the bright side, I insulated it well. <laughs> it's not changed a bit, has it? It's just as wet as it was yesterday. It is. That is horrendous. I'm pretty sure it's... Is that thunder and lightning or is that the building site starting again? Who goes out for walks in this weather? We had one heck of a crazy camping adventure. Lots of laughs, definitely lots of mad moments, but we were still both looking forward to getting to the top of the hill, where we would be blessed with a view good enough for any screensaver. Oh, this is ridiculous. How can the weather be even worse than yesterday? This is absolutely horrendous, Seriously? man. I'm out of breath. God, I'm struggling too. I'm falling just waterfalls at the moment down here. I think we're halfway there, Matt. I should have brought the life jackets with us. We're getting high up now into the clouds. Feels like it. There could be a good view though afterwards when we're above the clouds. Yeah, if you can blue look sky. Oh, oh, this is just rubbish. <laughs> oh, 
I should have bought spare trousers. That was a really rookie mistake. I should have bought a spare van. It's got so wet. So Matt, you still think that camping is a good idea? I, in certain weather, yes. This isn't that weather. You can say that again. <laughs> We're near the top. We are literally seconds away from probably one of the best views you'll ever see. Is this really it? All the way up this hill? It's more of a mountain. I am done in Matt, seriously. I'm done. I'm done. I've done my absolute best. I don't try... think I want to go camping ever you, you know what? Never, ever, <sighs> ever. I think in the summer, with the correct weather, maybe a bit of better gear, not just jumpers, we'll be okay. But in this, yeah, I'm with you on this. I've definitely lost this. I'm freezing. You fancy a cup of tea? Well, I can't do that. Do you want a, a cup of hot water? Oh, I'll tell you what we didn't have. Those pot noodles. Well, I think even they're going to agree that was an utter disaster. That's 500 quid you owe me plus that additional 500. I wouldn't say an absolute disaster. Come on, we got a couple of smiles out of it, surely. You said in that video you lost. When did I ever say that? I swear I didn't say that. Right, I'm not having that. Play the clip. Yeah, I'm with you on this. I've definitely lost this. Hold on a sec. All right, fair enough. I'll give you your money back. But I'm not interested in giving you the interest back. In fact, I think we should try something here. Should we go double or nothing? How about we raise the stakes a little bit? You have an idea of what you want for a camper van, okay? I or know exactly what I want from a camper van and it's not that. <laughs> right, prove it to me then. Go and build your own camper van. I don't care what it is, what it's like, what it's based on. Show me how it's done properly. And maybe next summer we should try this again? All right then, I will. I will. Put All it right. there. Fair enough. Let's go. If you love videos like this, then make sure you stick around because episode two is going to be an absolute belter. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. See you later.